Ooh. These are the cards. This is rare for checking supernova and galaxies. Also very good when you want to find uh, and identify the very faint nebula and galaxies. Oh, that's really good. What is the next one? These are rare. Oops. This is a well used <laughs> supernova star charts. This is a rare book. This is a rare book. Published by Cambridge University. You cannot find this. It's impossible. And uh, of course, uh, you can have an observation program for finding supernova published in 1989. But this book on its own and the charts are good for identifying the, the galaxies. These are practically finder charts for them. For example, large Magellanic cloud and a small Magellanic cloud. Poof, that's heavy. <laughs> Oh, Andromeda Galaxy. Find the chart for it. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen this part. I was sure I've seen it. And not only in this photograph, you cannot see it. I've seen a dark lane here. As you may see a faint dark lane. I see another dark lane here. And I see a bridge, between, a bridge of light between the M1110 to this part of the M31. Amazing. And these supernova charts are separate work, 1984. I wonder if the person who owned it before me, how many supernova he has discovered or she has discovered. Johanny Salmi. These two books complement each other. This is a big surprise finding such a book. And you can use it in conjunction with that energy at life photographic. I'm going to repair this. And then we can use these charts. There are around 200 charts originally. I don't know how many of them are yet here. And the book also has a guide, big guide on this. These are rare reference works. I feel luckier. I have this now. Rare, rare reference works for observers. Okay, I've now repaired the box of the Supernova search charts and handbook. Um, this glue is from the oldie. Uh, it's good, but it takes a long time to dry. So to fix it immediately so it will not come off, I use this, which works like a rivet in a few spots, not all. And uh, But before that, I applied this. So this will long term keep it together. In the short term, this will act like a rivet and immediately it gives it shape. And this is the result. I just did it probably half a minute ago and already has its shape. I don't need to push, put it under, you know, clamp or put weight on it or anything. This combination saved it really well. She kept the shape very well. 
and the way it was used is like this this top part can be opened and you can see here price of it actually is it the original price sixty five pound Almost about it, but really less than that. Ten pounds, okay. And this is a French work, you know it gets old. And this is the famous NGC 3031, or we know it as a boat's galaxy, or Messier 81 and actually in this galaxy uh, supernova was discovered in the 1980s or 1990s and this chart makes it very easy to identify if there is a new star because you already know these stars are the foreground star from our own Milky Way Make it really easy for us. I love these charts, they're so handy. And this is NGC 3034, also known as Cigar Galaxy. It has an active kind of nuclei. We know it as Messier 82, neighboring galaxy to Messier 81. So with this chart, you can actually find any guest star, new star, that appears in this area uh, where the actual uh, yeah, galaxy is located. So you know all the foreground stars and any other star than them is a... Yeah is a supernova and NGC 4038 or antenna galaxy looks like an antenna of a kind of ant or insect antenna antenna that's the hit and it is in curvus and is cataloged as HIV 28 ring tail galaxy is another name they're interacting galaxies practically and you, we know it by the Hubble images but with this you can find uh, because this, these are actually is a star formation area now because of this collision uh, the gases are being you know pushed together clumped together and forming a uh, new uh, star birth areas and many of them may actually be so bright and short so short living that they eventually very quickly in astronomical terms will become supernova and this is the back of the box which uh, introdu introduces the authors Greg Thompson was famous in 1980s I don't know he's alive yet or must have retired and this guy who looks like Kafka Franz Kafka is Brian James T. Brian And that's the ISP. And this is the supernova search charts and handbook. I don't think internet can replace this. These charts are not easy to find. I know it because I've tried to find a accurate charts of the galaxies not as photographs but as charts drawings that was very difficult to actually know what are the foreground stars from our own galaxy or to find a pattern when you're looking at a fuzzy thing in a field of view of a telescope you're not sure exactly what you are seeing sometimes so if you know where the stars are with the help of this, this will be easy. 
you can actually look carefully, use a virtual vision and find the very difficult and dimmer galaxies. This is a treasure, a real treasure. And if you need any more help, this uh, supernova uh, check cards can help you. There are actual photographs of the supernova uh, galaxies. This is Andromeda galaxy, for example. And it shows the stars of background. Some of the stars are actually of the uh, galaxy itself. So it helps you to find them. I hope it's not missing. Where is the other part of the galaxy? Anyway, doesn't look anything missing. That's observation note, probably a supernova. These are rare. This is M51. These are rare. This resource is rare. You will find it only if you are lucky in a university observatory or something like that. NGC 3031 M81. And then NGC 3034 M82, Cigar Galaxy and Boat Galaxy. Um, nowadays, well, probably they do these things with the robot. So these are good for finder chart for observer, observers of deep sky objects. Okay, as far as I could count. And of course, I may make a mistake counting one uh, as two or two as one. Uh, but it's 40, and it should be written 40. So, where is the other part of the um, is, uh, M31 Andromeda Galaxy? I don't know. Is it this one? Probably. North, north. Let's just find a, a star to compare. So this and this. This and this. They are from the same part of the galaxy. M33. Oh, here, the other part is here. In this volume. <laughs> That's a M32. So probably they put it in a way to give you a surrounding, a little bit more coverage of the surrounding area. M33. I have photographed this thing with my with this mobile camera that I have in my hand, and also including this. It looks like a yeah. You can see these two arms, and a little bit this third arm also. It makes it almost like a uh, one of these. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Chinese Hong Kong movies that they have, Jackie Chan movies, it's kind of things they throw at each other. Barbed, turning uh, weapons, tiny, made of metal. This is superb. I don't think you can find such a pictures online. I don't. I have not seen. If this is, if if there is, I will be glad to know. 